Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Exo Heroes Hero Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at Shell, the lonely artist and leader of the Phantasmagoria. A quick overview, a clear Da Vinci inspired hero, Shell uses her umbrella puppet thing to drop buffs on her allies and terrify her audience of enemies. Skilled in the arts of support, let's take a look at what makes her tick. So she's a faded hero, machine element, clearly, support position, and has a magical attack type. What are her skills though? Yeah, so obviously she starts with a basic attack that does 458 to 550 damage to a single target. Her A1 is Essence of Art, which costs only 1 mana, single target increased attack to 1 ally by 20% of Shell's attack for 6 turns, also removes all status effect from the target, and provides one mana gain to the target. So attack buff alongside of status removal alongside of mana gain. Pretty good. Her A2 is called Clown's Performance, and in this one only costs two mana. It deals AoE damage to all enemies at 127%, and it also has a Hallucinate passive. And what it does is it decreases hit by 30 for four turns if the target is charmed. And for those of you who doesn't know, Charm is a unique passive provided by Jinai. So this is obviously only going to happen if you have Jinai and Shell paired together. And lastly, let's take a look at her passive, which is just Cleanse 3. Pretty straightforward, like many others, Fated Support Heroes. It cleanses damage over time, as well as other debuff effects from allies, and gains 1 mana for Shell. And also Shell gets an additional mana if the health of the target is less than 20% when this is triggered, or she gets one additional mana if the target's health is above 70% when this is triggered. But with that being said, let's take a look at how you can best utilize her potential. Sure, so in our opinion, Shell is a very interesting hero. Her theme and visuals are some of the most unique in the game, and this goes for her skills as well. Where we've only seen other faded supports fall into debuff and cleansing and healing roles, Shell stands out in that she's the only faded support that has an active that's a straight buff to her allies. Her A1 not only gives the target ally a noticeable attack buff, but it also grants the target 1 mana. This is generally useful, but could really turn the tide of a fight granting that last bit of mana for a big skill or giving that extra boost to a burst modifier. Her A2 deals relatively low damage, but that's because of the unique effect it has on charm targets, which is Jinai's leader skill. At the cost of 2 mana, you can lower the hit or accuracy of all enemies by 30 for 4 turns. And this is, as you can imagine, just incredibly annoying to play against, especially so for high damage single target heroes like a Rudley and heroes with resets on kills like Jin or Baraka. Another strength of Shell is her low mana cost. With 1 and 2 respectively, what this allows her to do is consistently buff allies across the course of a fight and hit debuff enemies the whole time as well. Due to her cleanse passive, she could actually sustain her mana relatively well if the enemy has 1 or 2 dot heroes in their lineup so she could consistently cleanse allies. While Shell might not be a standout support in the current meta, we do think you shouldn't overlook the unique utility she provides among other faded supports. Overall, she functions with a niche balance between buffing, debuffing, and cleansing, and if you're looking for someone to make your attackers even stronger or annoy the enemy team, then Shell's the right hero for you. That's it for us today. If you have any thoughts on Shell, please let us know in the comments. To see more reviews, guides, tier lists of EXO heroes, feel free to check out our channel to see our other content. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.